Hi there everyone, and let's check out another brilliant chess game by Bobby Fischer, and this game was played in 1960 in the Mar del Plata chess tournament in Argentina, and Bobby Fischer is playing with the white pieces, and his opponent is Olicia Gadia, and Olicia Gadia was the Brazilian chess champion from 1959, and in 1962, he was a decent chess player, so Olicia Gadia is playing with the black pieces and Bobby Fischer has the white pieces. Fischer starts the game with playing e4, c5 by Gadia, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4 by Fischer, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, b5, and after b5, Bobby Fischer castled, bishop to b7, and f4 by Fischer, not defending the pawn. We have knight to c6 by Gadia. After f4, clearly Bobby Fischer is sacrificing the pawn, and probably Gadia considered capturing the pawn, but of course he played knight to c6, and what if knight takes on e4, well, Bobby Fischer, for the activity his pieces, is sacrificing the pawn. So f5, if e5, then queen to h5, threatening checkmate, defending with the queen, knight to d5, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, knight to f6, queen to f3, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, attacking the rook, and in this position, black heaven castled, and Black's position is looking a little clunky. That was the plan of Bobby Fischer for creating weakness in his opponent's camp. And as you can see in this position, White's position is more flexible. So f6 by Fischer and knight to c6. Knight takes on c6. Bishop takes knight. f5. e5. Queen to d3. Bishop to e7. Bishop to g5, queen to b6, by Gadia, that's check, king to h1, and Brazilian champion, castled. Bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, bishop to d5, rook from a to c8, bishop takes bishop, rook takes on c6, by Olicia Gadia, and Fischer played, rook from a to d1, rook from f to c8, doubling the rooks, and knight to d5, attacking the queen, and there is no time for capturing the pawn, so queen to d8, defending the queen, and c3 by Bobby Fischer, defending the pawn. Well, in this position, Gadia played bishop to e7, and rook to a1, f6, maybe preventing f6, white could push the pawn, a4 by Bobby Fischer, a very annoying move for black, believe it or not, and this move creates loss of weakness for black, well Gadia didn't capture the pawn, and in this position he was deep in thought, because Bobby Fischer has loss of attacks in this position, loss of attacking opportunities, there are too many threats, believe it or not, we have rook to b8 by Gadia. Well, after a4, let me show you one possible continuation. b takes on a4, and according to the computer chess engine, this move should have been considered. But then rook takes on a4, a5, defending the pawn, but rook from f to a1. And as you can see, black is going to lose the pawn sooner or later. Black has a very weak, isolated target. And it doesn't look very good for black. After a4, if rook to c5, then b4 attacking the rook, rook to c4, a takes on b5, a takes on b5, and rook to a5. That was the plan of Bobby Fischer. If defending with the queen, then simply rook takes pawn, sacrificing the rook, queen takes rook, then knight takes on e7, that's check forking the king and the rook, so king to h8, and knight takes rook on c8, and white is winning.
So this was the plan of Bobby Fischer. And probably Alicia Gadia saw the threat and he was confused. So in this position, after A4 by Bobby Fischer, Alicia Gadia wants to defend. He played Rook to B8. And then Bobby Fischer played a killer move. So as you can clearly see, Gadia was confused in this position. Well, it's white to move. And Bobby Fischer played a move. And after that move, Alicia Gadia, the two times Brazilian chess champion, resigned. What is that move? Bobby Fischer played a very simple move. And it's all over for black. Well, Bobby Fischer simply captured the bishop with the knight. Knight takes on e7 by Bobby Fischer and black. Alicia Gadia resigned. And this was the last position of the game. Why black resigned? Well, let me quickly show you the possible continuation. So, what else? Queen takes on e7. And then, queen to d5. Check. Also, attacking the rook. King to f8. And queen takes on c6. And in this position, white is a rook up. And black is losing very badly. So, as you can see, a4 ruined everything for black. It paralyzes black's position. Rook to b8. And knight takes on e7, and black resigned, because of the obvious reason. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.